What up, it's your girl, Minna, and I'm so glad that you're back. I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on Instagram as well as here. In this video, I'm gonna be going over with you my small list, small but mighty list of concealers that I use. I don't have very many, okay? I don't like to have a lot of, a lot of things. I like to get rid of stuff, throw away things, give them away so that I don't have so much of things. I'm just that kind of person. I don't like to have too much of stuff. So I'm gonna show you what I have for concealers, what I'm using, what I don't don't use the colors that work, the colors that are not working. And I hope that this is helpful for you because I did do a video on the foundations that I use. So you already know what foundation I have in my stash as of late. So if you're excited, give the video a thumbs up and also make sure you're subscribed. Okay, here we go. Tried and true, oldie but goodie. Like everybody has this. You probably have this LA girl, okay? Everybody, look at, there's a, someone delivering, wow, random, not random, but regular people in their cars deliver Amazon packages. That's fascinating to me. It's a black girl. Her braids are cute. Hi, hello. So tried and true, we all know about the LA Girl Pro Conceal, right? Like I just have not made my way over to the beauty supply to buy more because of all this quarantine stuff. I, I can order online, that is true. I just been enjoying other ones that I'll get to, but this is still OG. This is still OG. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. Fawn is cool. Fawn has a yellow undertone. Fawn is really not for me because Fawn isn't light enough, but I find that Toffee is so great. The next concealer that I had a hard time finding my exact color in is the Morphe Concealer. I've bought three of these three different colors and the other two are too light and this one right here is perfect for me it gives me the perfect coverage the morphe concealer dries very quickly it's very matte full coverage it's to me high powered i love it a lot in fact i can't even find it anymore it's sold out i don't understand that how is a certain color sold out and been this way for so long i'm irritated it is so nice this is just a nice concealer it dries really quickly though so when you're putting this on this is another time to put her on and take your time so for me i put on the concealer under the eye i blend that out i do the forehead and the nose and the chin and then upper lip and i blend it out i don't do the concealer everywhere and then start blending because by the time you get to the last place you put the concealer it's already dried this is the kind of concealer you can take your time with not at all but it is so great and if you wear this concealer with a very matte foundation like the fenty pro filter soft matte they are going to interact with one another and this is going to be like so you have to blend even more quickly okay the same remains true for the l 16 hour camel concealer great i love it it dries quickly and it dries for me even more quickly if i'm using a matte foundation like the fenty one so i don't put them to those two together it dries too fast on my face okay this is the color deep olive actually funny enough right i've been using this and it's kind of funky but it's nice it's really for people who are like perhaps of indian descent you know it's, it's got olive undertones i'm not olive but i wanted to try it and it's kind of cool i like it but my color is deep chestnut okay this is deep olive this is deep chestnut other two new concealers to my stash are the nyx can't stop won't Stop concealers. I got this on Amazon. This is Warm Caramel and Warm Honey. I like these two a lot. You see that caramel is a little bit darker than honey is. I've used both of them. Depending on my foundation, the concealer will look a certain way. So if I'm using a darker foundation because I'm using my summer color, then my concealer might look lighter than usual. It's good to have different shades just in case, you know. And then, you know, you've got the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I use the color 10. 10 is very light 10 is very light if you're using me as a color reference i want you to know that 10 is very light it does blend in beautifully i like this concealer a lot i've re-upped on this a few times this concealer does take time to dry so it's like Got, I don't know if it's got more water in it. I don't know what it is, but this will give you more time to dry. So when I'm wearing a very drying foundation like a Fenty, I will make sure I use this concealer because it'll give me time to blend it as opposed to just sucking me in and drying out too fast like the e.l.f. or the Morphe one. All great, but it's really important to know how your concealer performs with your different foundations so that you can make an educated decision before pairing the two together. I'm trying to tell you from my own experience, my concealer has dried before I could have blended it and I was going to work and it was a problem. I was like, oh okay so don't be that person if you use me as a reference i would say go with because you go lower it goes darker so 12 maybe 14 be more comfortable for you but i like to go really light with my concealer that's just what i like as you can see 
that's just my my taste okay but that's it that's all I have the other concealers that I have match my skin tone so I don't even call them concealers I don't even know what I'm doing with them they're just here okay <laughs> I wonder if you have any of these do you have any of these concealers do you like any of them were the tips that I shared helpful for you I want you to comment and let me know but as always I'm glad you're here thanks for watching and I'll see you later Thank you.